Mirao, former chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC. Mr. Nuhu Ribadu has appealed to President Clark Jonathan to do something about the seeming rot in the Nigerian, Patri National, uh, National, Nigerian National Patrimonial Corporation, the NNPC. Mr. Ribadu believes that a clampdown by the presidency will portray the government as effectively fighting corruption while supporting the invitation of independent auditors to investigate the NNPC's accounts. Mr. Rebadu says that only a strong political will can help address the sharp practices in the nation's oil sector. Uh, a forensic accounting and a thorough investigation will definitely make sense. We want to know what is being taken out from our, the ground. We want to know the crude oil coming out from the ground. We want to know the process of selling it. We want to know who is buying it. We want to know what comes out of that buying. We want to know where the money is going. Who is taking what? And I think it is fair for Nigeria to demand for that. And the only person who can take the lead and make that possible is the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria today. And Nigeria's dependence on oil for economic growth may drop if the offer of an agro-based economy as an alternative proposition by the Kwara State Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed is given serious consideration. With delivering a lecture at the inauguration of a new leadership of the IRA Consultative Forum, the ACF, in Kaduna State, North Central Nigeria, the Governor said that the Northern Region and other parts of the country require the articulation of an implementable alternative to hasten the economic growth of the country. He then proposed a strong focus on the re all return to agriculture, which had been the mainstay of the nation's economy before the discovery of oil. Northern Nigeria's immense agricultural resources strongly recommend a revival of the agro-based wealth that the region once enjoyed. The truth is that a significant proportion of the food that we eat and export from this country comes from the farms of Northern Nigeria. If federal allocations were to cease today, for example, I'm confident that the United States of Northern Nigeria will overcome the initial hiccups to build strong agro-based economies.